Hello friends, my name is Masood. Today we shall discuss about topic the product increment. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management and software development and you want to learn about the Scrum framework. So let's start. So friend, what is product increment? Product increment is basically a tangible, usable and potentially releasable piece, piece of product functionality that has been developed during a single iteration of a work known as a sprint. Basically friend, Scrum framework is based on the concept of agile methodology which is uh, iterative incremental in which we divide the work into multiple chunks. These chunks are called as sprint which is a 3 to 4 weeks time period in which the Scrum development team plan, develop, test and deploy the releases. So basically at the end of the sprint uh, at the end of each sprint we have a product increment now what is a product increment let me give an example here for example you have an e-commerce solution which has four features required in it for example you want that customer can log in into the application customer can see the product uh, catalog customer can uh, add the product in the uh, shopping cart and customer can do the payment through the credit card or debit card for example these are the four features which are required in a e-commerce solution so for example at the first increment at the first sprint we have a target that customer can log in into the e-commerce solution for example so once the sprint completed so we have a product we have a working software application in which the customer can log in into the application then when the second sprint ends so we have a functionality that customer can log in into the application also he can see the product catalog on the e-commerce solution so with each sprint adding functionality is adding which is basically called as product increment which we got at the end of a sprint and once all the sprints are completed the whole product will be completed as well so this is called as the concept of product increment sprint goal Sprint uh, product increment is developed with the context of the sprint sprint is a three to four weeks time period and each sprint has a, a sprint goal a sprint goal means that the target which we want to achieve from the sprint for example we have a target that <coughs> once the sprint ends we have a working functionality for a login once the sprint end we have a working functionality for product catalog once the sprint ends we have a functionality for uh, payment module for example so each sprint has a sprint goal and after ending of each sprint we have a product increment potentially be uh, releasable means the screen is, uh, increment is designed to be potentially be uh, releasable meaning it adheres to the definition of done means that the criteria at which we will consider that the product is completed and the product owner can decide to do so to release it to the end users the definition of done includes criteria for coding standards testing documentation and any other factors crucial to delivering a high quality product so that means friend when the sprint ends uh, before starting a sprint we must have to know that what is the definition of done that means at the criteria at which the work shall be considered as completed and also it will be released to the customer to the end users as well then quality assurance means the product increment undergoes through testing to ensure that it meets meets the required quality standards quality assurance means that uh, it include unit testing system integration testing system testing and user acceptance testing all those testings are included here so the quality assurance means that whatever the work which has been decided in the scope it should have to be made in the working functionality of the software as well and it includes all types of including uh, testing as well integration means the product increment integrates all completed and tested product backlog items means that the working functionality should adhere to the integration as well that means the uh, it doesn't mean the product increment will uh, work uh, solely alone that means uh, it have it must have to be integrated properly with all systems as well 
Okay, integration is an ongoing process throughout the sprint, allowing the team to catch and hear integration issues early. So that means if there are any third party softwares which are integrated with the product increment, it must have to be integrated as well. Demonstration at a sprint review means that uh, once the sprint ends, the scrum team conduct a sprint review meeting in which they will basically show the product increment, the working functionality to the stakeholders as well. Stakeholder provide feedback and the product owner can take decisions about releasing the product increment or adjusting the product backlog based on the feedback. So the product owner can decide either to release it to the end users or either he can uh, reject it as well. Incremental value. Each product increment uh, should deliver a value to the users and the stakeholders. That means it should have add some value in the product. So the goal is to have a product that becomes more valuable with each sprint allowing for regular releases of new features or improvements. Backlog adaptation means the product increments serve as a feedback for the product owner and the team as well. It helps them adopt the product backlog based on the current state of the product and changing priorities as well. So basically uh, once where whatever the feedback you are getting from the sprint review meeting so you will basically adding you will basically uh, changing the uh, backlog as well backlog is basically product backlog product backlog means the all the feature sets required for a product that is called as product backlog then continuous improvement means the product increment supports the principles of continuous improvement means team is getting feedback improving their uh, performance and during the sprint retrospective uh, they try to improve the things they try to find out their negative things which should not be continued and the positive thing which should have to be continued so it helps in the uh, continuous improvement process as well then transparency Product increment promotes transparency by making the progress of the team visible to the stakeholder because uh, print, whenever the spin end you will add a value uh, you will add a functionality in the working software and you will uh, get it reviewed with the uh, with the stakeholders as well so stakeholder has the uh, understanding has the visibility that work work is going on what is the status of the project and they have have transparency about the working work in progress so stakeholder have a concrete deliverable to inspect and provide feedback on fostering open communication and collaboration as well again it is more valuable because customer is getting feedback of uh, on the uh, working software the working software which is integrated with all the third party software as well so it is more valuable and transparent as well so friend, in essence, the product increment in Scrum is a powerful concept that ensures regular tangible deliveries of value, encourage transparency and provide opportunities for continuous improvement in the development process. It aligns with the Scrum iterative and adaptive nature, allowing the team to respond to changing requirements and deliver a product that adds value consistently.